parking lot living. Parking lot living. I'm in the parking lot. I do a lot of that. Now, I'm not always in a parking lot, but I do a lot of parking lot living, and so does Paul. When we're nestled in, when we're doing urban nestling, we nestle in to a community. We do a lot of living in the parking lot. It's pretty cool, actually. I know a lot of nomads do, so don't think this is anything odd. We do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up my van. It's Sunday. It's a holiday weekend. There's not that many people around in this town. People have kind of scattered out. And I'm going to start with the back. Come back with me. This is a mess back here. So I got to get it cleaned out. If you notice here, I want to show you something pretty cool. I've got my bungees that go around and hold everything in, but it also makes a nice little clothesline for myself. After I go swimming, I need to, um, you know, my bathing suit bottom's still wet. Maybe a towel. I've got a wash right down here. This is a, a car um, rag that I wanted to go ahead and it got wet and I wanted to let it dry out. Let's get a good view of what I'm doing. So I kind of keep my car stuff over here. This is my gym bag. I kind of keep it open. These are my Sequay water shoes. I showed those on a previous video. They're a little bit damp, but they can still kind of dry out a little bit. I think I'm probably going to get my dirty clothes together too. This smells a little musty. This is my swimsuit from last week. Let's wash that, wash that. I'm gonna keep this. These microfiber towels are great. They dry quickly and they absorb a lot of water. This is my dirty clothes bag. This has to be filled up. Hi, Paul. Look who we have here. Gotta bend down. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, babe. I realize it's Sunday on a holiday weekend. Yeah. But I really need a haircut. Is the barber shop open today? It's open. So the barber shop's open. Look how much taller he is than me. Stand up. I am. <laughs> <laughs> but it's open and we're gonna get you buzzed up. All looking right. good, right? All right? Okay. But first. But first. It's part of van life. Yes. In the parking lot? Yes, in the parking lot. I have a bag of trash, I'm gonna Put her in a dumpster over And there's there. a dumpster right down there. Parking lot living. <laughs> You'd be shocked at how many of us, some of us don't admit we do it, but we do it. Us nomads, we love being in a parking lot. And because it's Sunday, nobody's here in the business. That's right. We got this space here. We might just pull out our chairs, huh? Well, maybe so. <laughs> maybe so. Now, because my shoes are still a little damp, I'll put my bag here and I'll leave this open so air can get around it. Now it's time to get the inside cleaned out. Paul's getting ready for the, the buzz.
I keep either I hit my hand just a minute ago or I just hit my elbow. People want to know why I have bruises. Is it, when you're in a small space, you're like trying to do that. And, ouch, ouch. Yeah. I mean, even after five and a half years, sometimes I try to move too fast or I forget. So you'd think I'd be used to it, but yeah. A lot of people say, where do you get all the bruises on your hands? That's from whacking it in a small space. So get these all shook out. Paul and I were doing some housekeeping today in the parking lot living. Like on the boardwalk in the parking lot. <laughs> We're doing the parking lot thing. Why is it going faster now? The ice bag was plugging the drain hole. I'm using something new. Who told you about it? Glenna. And perhaps she got that information from her mother. I don't know. But when she first... Photobomb! <laughs> when she first gave me the name... I had a terrible allergy when I was in Moab uh, last spring. And she said... Yeah, just get yourself a bottle of kick-ass allergy better <laughs> stuff, and, and it worked great. And I had that cold for three weeks, and my nose is still constantly running, and I just tried the first dose of kick-ass allergy meds, and I already feel better. Maybe it's in my head, no pun intended. That was pretty bad, but anyway... So I'm going to see, it says to take this five times, five minutes apart, and hopefully the the uh, symptoms will go away. So we're going to give it a shot. I thought Teresa told you about that. It was Glenna. I think it was Glenna. No, I know it was Glenna. Oh, but Teresa told you, told her to tell you. Right. So thank you, Teresa. I want to give you credit for that. And That's it's right. working. And he said, he says. It already seems to be taking effect. So. There you go. Please. There you go.
stuff. Thank you so much. Okay. How's it look, oh, everybody? Oh, did you do inside my ears? No. We had our hearts set on Mexican food. First, we went to another tried and true restaurant, Mexican fabulous restaurant. But there was going to be a 50-minute wait. And we had to wait outside in the sun. So we tried this restaurant. No, it was not good. Uh, it wasn't really that good a service. And the food that I got was so substandard. And I'm not a Mexican food snob either. It's just that I've cooked my own Mexican food living in Tucson for over 40 years. My specialty is enchiladas. I make really good enchiladas. It was sort of my go-to recipe for when we'd have a barbecue or a get-together with the family. But the food that I ordered, it was an enchilada and it was a tamale and the sauce was really bad. Now, Paul did like his. He, he did like his. Now, I asked the waitress some questions. Well, what is this and what is that? But um, <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. She said, well, I'm not really Mexican. I'm Native American. I really don't know. <laughs> so anyways, I believe that this restaurant probably needs some new cooks. But we did have a good time just sitting and chatting and spending time together. The chips were okay. The salsa actually was pretty good. And I got a lemonade. Uh, Paul got a, a Modelo. He always orders Modelo. A lot of these Mexican restaurants have this motif. They're really nice. Tables and chairs. So they brought us the warm tortillas. And Paul built himself a, a nice little um, tortilla. A uh, tortilla <laughs> filled with uh, filled with his. Uh, I think it was chicken, and I mean, okay. I hate to complain, but even the beans were not that good. The refried beans, no. I don't know. It just had everything had a weird taste to it. So I didn't like it, and I won't go back. And it's probably the worst Mexican food I've eaten since I've been um, in Arizona. But his wasn't too bad. Mine just wasn't that great. But we had a good time. He always adds his salt. There we go. Get his bite. He's a happy camper. After lunch, we took a trip outside of town, and we found this little chapel. I don't think it's really used as a chapel. I think it's more of a sort of a chapel kind of museum. You prepared to give us a sermon, Paul? Uh, yes, Julie, beloved. Uh, we are gathered. The pulpit's down there, oh. please. <laughs> so cute. Let's see here. Psalm 23. Or Psalm 25, excuse me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And we may have to want from time to time, ladies and gentlemen. But remember, the Lord is our shepherd, and he will take care of all. And I'm not trying to make fun of you. I was encouraged to do this by someone else. Actually, if truth be known, you almost went into the ministry. True. Here's your chance. That is true. And here is our first 
Yes. He's giving a <laughs> sermon. <laughs> Get that camera <laughs> oh, look at this. Isn't this the coolest? Look at all the people that rode on there. What they do, bring up, bring ladders. Look at that. I guess you can put prayer requests up here. I hope that we will be together forever and we will be able to have kids. I knew that was going to be from somebody young. I hope we can be together forever. I love that. Yes. And well, I hope they get to have kids too. This is too cool. Interesting architecture, that's for sure. There must have been a wave recently, huh? I don't Are know. The towels on the ground. Is this your first time here? No. <laughs> I come here sometimes. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Yeah, it's, it is really cool. Well, there's a place to put prairie grass. Prairie grass, yes. Our daily bread, let's take this. What's this guy from London. Uh, it sounds English. Jesus is well good. Oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's see what other. All that. books and booklets are free. Look at this. Come on. There we go. No, it's just our daily bread ministries. Oh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. How about well, that? Well, there you go. Huh. Interesting. Very nice. Do you want this door open? What okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, this was quite the experience, actually. Oh, did you get the it's sign? A ch Let me get it. Thanks for spending time with us today. It was a good day. Hope you like the chapel, too. So blessings to you and yours. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. See you tomorrow.